for the lecture on collective search trees. As you are aware, in the last lecture, we have seen about the elementary search cells and we have connected the elementary search cells to the database table to which we have created. And now uh, we are inside the very important yet another uh, very complex level of attaching search cells. We call them as collective search cells. So there are some prerequisites uh, before you uh, go ahead and uh, play with the collective search cells, which we have explained deep in the introduction part. If you have any questions, go back to that introduction slide and refresh the logic behind collective search cells. Without a delay, I'll go ahead and let me play with the search cells. Now, go into SE11. And first of all, I'm going to create two identical tables. So in my case, I mean identical because identical tables will have the same number of fields and will share the same data element. That's a very, very, very important point here. Now let me create uh, one such collective search cells from one of the very big, very greatest examples that I've come online. So let me create two tables. Let me say one table as Java team. I think already there are tables for this. Java team. And let me click on create. And you know very well the process behind this particular database table creation. So let me go ahead and give the short description and let me continue uh, creating the field. Java cricket team and go ahead with the delivery class as A and allowed because it's your one table. And here you know what is the first field that usually we go with. It is mandate. Enter. And here is actual. Problem, which is the first key field here. Set crick and let me say ZD crick name or crick ID. Double click this. You know all the process behind this. Let me copy and paste it out here. And D for crick ID. Go into the field labels, just pick click ID click ID. Wonderful. Go back to your data type, double click on the click ID. Let me say this is going to be of type character and of length three for click ID. Fine, save it and activate it. Back, back. Now, the second field would be click name. And I'm going to say ZD click name. Double click on it to create its data element. D for click name. You want to copy this and go into the field labels. I'm going to use the same name which I've already used. Double click on the domain to create it. I'm going to choose once again character type, this time of 20 characters. Save it and activate. While activating, you very well know you have to choose both back and back. Now save it. For what the table, whatever you do, you are going to continue the same. Go to the technical settings, then you're going to say 
going to be this and I'm going to use the basic level size back go back extras enhancement category and I've used only characters this time click on copy save check and activate the table now the table is ready to accept the entries so let me say uh, go to utilities table contents create entries so let me say 001 which is uh, Travit save reset 002 and go read. save reset 003 contents save click on back and you are aware that this table is going to contain three entries and if you go and reveal the entries you very well know these entries are going to be the one which we entered before this is wonderful now what I'm going to do without the delay I'm going to have this opened and let me open a new AC11 that I'm going to say now it's going to be SAPT create team and do the same thing but this time the problem won't be like too complex as I'm not going to create any fields again I'm going to reuse the same field enter so click ID first you know what we have selected set D click ID enter and click underscore name ZD click underscore name so you are using the same data elements here so technical settings and the size categories you have to fill on save it get back extras enhancement category this time it's going to be character type and save it check it and activate the table now utilities table contents create entries now i'm going to say 101 Donny. save it 102 kevin save reset 103 I'm going to say oh god save it and back and you're aware that this table is once again going to contain three fields and if you reveal that you have these three fields now the main process about creating this field is over now the third process is creation of search help. the recommended thing would be for both the tables create individual search helps so that both will have its own search helps. both database table will have, will have its in individual search helps. now I'll go ahead and uh, the first task would be once again I'm opening uh, slash o uh, se 11 and I'm going to go into the search helps. So z uh, d java team and uh, let me say sh denoting the search helps i'm going to create an elementary search help first it is for java team and i'm going to use the the name of the database table that we created for the java team so you can choose it from here that java team copy and paste it here and you very well know once you started once you have pasted that that option will be available here this time I'm going to only input the cricket name and I'm going to say one and one so what I'm going to do save it check it and activate it so I'm not going to uh, give this in the database table as of now and I'm going to check it internally execute this button if you check this the three names that is inside that particular table will be appearing here okay now let us continue 
going and creating second search helps for the second team which we call it as an SAP team choose SAP team click on sorry click on create it's going to be once again elementary search help and for SAP team and this time you're going to say CSAP SAP team wonderful now go ahead create a name exporting one and one save it check it and activate the table and if you execute it you'll find all the values inside the second table cool and fine now we have created individual search helps denoting each and every table that's fine but now the next task would be creation of collective search helps what i'm going to do slash o s e 11 and instead of this i'm going to say csh denoting collective search help and i'm going to change the name as a common name click on collective search helps as you know enter the short description collective search help test and now i'm going to denote the field to which the search help has to be collected so in both the primary search help elementary search help we have selected the name and i'm going to find the data element that is associated with the name this is this data element in both the tables and data element over here enter this is the first task the second task would be go into the include search help tab and you're going to copy down the search helps that were that were that are associated first this is a search help for the java team you're going to attach it over here and i'm going to change the name here itself because i very well know what i did enter so you can see all the descriptions have come here now select the java team and click on the param assignment button so it will ask you to click on yes and now it will automatically tell you whether you want to do it for this particular button field click on copy now select on the sap team parameter assignment yes and you have the same copy now your thing is done now save it check it activate your search helps now you're going to see a beautiful wonder if i click on test so for one name field now you have two tabs one is the java team and one is the sap team this is what we call it as a collective search help so the collective search help is nothing but having two options for one field that is what we call it as a collective search help um we will continue this uh, let me take into one other scenario a simple scenario you can say uh, let me cancel this out and let me open a new editor slash o s e 38 and let me create a program z team test click on create for collective search help team and you very well know we have seen in the earlier stages of this class executable program save it local objects now in order to use the collective search help i'm going to write one line of code that is parameters i'm going to name my parameters name i'm going to say the type as the data element type which i have used here so you copy this data element and paste it here use one line called match code object and give the collective search help name and ended by a dot save this program check for errors activate this program now execute this program if you click on here now you have the same options available here so this is how you transform the created search help into a report program hope you have enjoyed the session see you back in the next session thank you